Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange and you're joining me today on the Wolves 8.0 test server. So let me just get this out of the way straight away and you can see in the top left corner this isn't version 8 of Imperion. This is a test instance of the Wolves server in a brand new setup and we're going to test it in 7.6 and then when Alpha 8 comes along um, We've got the basic skelly bones of the server set up ready to go and we just need to apply the update. Well, that's the theory anyway. So on the new server, we'll start in, well, this place here, um, which is like welcome center, I guess. We've got a cloning chamber in here, which is the kind of where you spawn. And um, you can go out of the facility, although I haven't actually done that yet through that teleport there. And just in here, we've got our personal stuff which I've already just picked up so that's that's pretty much it but um, let's have a, look, a quick look at the map we are on a moon in the middle of nowhere prime alpha mega BBP asteroid I have no idea what the rest of the map looks like so this will be really interesting so it's a completely new setup from last season um, essentially the server has been divided into three so instead of and five different factions as we had last season there's only three this time you've got one pve dedicated faction let's have a look at the factions actually see what that looks like cool yeah so you've got pve core pvp omega and pvp alpha um, we're still working on names and stuff so that might change but um yeah so you've got two pvp factions one pve and the general idea is that all the pvpers will have on their planet is gold they have to mine that gold and then they will use that gold to trade with the PVEers. And the PVEers will be doing what PVEers do and they'll just basically be build, uh, building, living their life in peace and looking to acquire as much wealth as possible. Now we are the providers of that wealth because we need all the resources and stuff that they're going to be mining and, and whatnot in order to fuel our war effort against each other. So... Um, we're going to be creating uh, a faction in PvP Alpha. It will probably just be called Alpha Wolves or whatever. So um, the idea of this test phase is not to basically uh, start the game completely from scratch. I mean, we will, but we need to test things like the, the whole new rule set that we got on the wall server needs to be tested out because this is like a complete change from what we've done before. So we need to see if the PvEers can actually provide the PvPers with the necessary materials to make war um, and for it to actually be fun for those guys as well as the PvPers who are just going to be fighting each other most of the time. But we have to actually also mine gold and stuff. So um, end game wise we've got an idea as well. So we haven't actually fully fledged it out yet but PvEers end game is to acquire a certain number of planets and a certain monetary value i think and they declared a victory and the pvpers can declare victory by wiping the other pvp faction off the face of the planet and holding it for a certain period of time or something like that again it's kind of up in the air still we're still trying to figure it out but setup of the galaxy is done the rules are in place kind of so we're going to just give it a test in 7.6 see how everything works and we can make the necessary adjust adjustments before alpha 8 drops and then like i said you just convert the server into alpha 8 and we should be good to go now <clears throat> for the pvpers such as myself and my other fellow faction members when they eventually arrive um we will go through this teleport here and i think this will deliver us into the same facility that the other pvp faction get delivered to so let's let's go through and find out here we go okay oh christ ah we're in the ground we are very much in the ground okay um and in the wall as well okay well, okay that's we'll obviously need to fix that fix that number one Put our jetpack on and unglitch ourselves um okay so yeah here we go, we got some dudes loitering around. This is enormous. 
all glitched into the ground as well. So you're going to see lots of little glitchy, buggy things. That's fine. This is the sort of thing we're here to find out. Hey, alien dudes. What's up? Yeah, cool. All right. Lots of cargo boxes. Why are there so many cargo boxes? And you can't access any of them because obviously this is an admin building. Um, so I think Stack Hair is the designer of this one. Um, we put this together, the wolf, so that we had somewhere to teleport to and also somewhere to trade at. Because obviously we're going to need to be able to deliver a whole bunch of gold to the freelancers and they need to in turn deliver a whole bunch of stuff to us. So he set it up as this huge kind of warehouse kind of dock User joined your channel. type thing. Hey Static. Hey, I'm just um, I'm I'm yeah yeah I'm just actually uh, going through your um, your trade outpost thing that you built. A trade outpost. Yeah, you know the um, landing pad thing that you built for Wolf. Oh right. Yeah. Um, the guns are trying to shoot something. Well, let's ignore that. It's kind of glitched into the ground. Hopefully that will be fixed in Alpha Eight because in Alpha Eight the planets are a much bigger, b you can place the, the POIs with much more accuracy and hopefully things like these floating rocks <laughs> won't be there either so but looks yeah. looks good looks massive uh, but yeah this will be where we come to a pay the no no wait let me get this right so we won't pay the freelancers here we actually have to go to the freelancer world pay them there and then escort them back to here this is where they deliver the goods um something's trying to shoot at me which is making that clicking noise either trying to shoot at me or something i really like this hatch you've put in the landing pad here this is awesome oh yeah i uh, felt it was like i don't know it's like a, like neutral ground almost you can come down drop shit off and you know drop yeah. the cargo boxes yeah that's what i thought Let's see if we can I should try and mine some of these rocks that are around here. Um, so Static, if you're logging into the server, we we are on... Uh, let me get a faction to back. Alpha. I haven't created a faction yet, because I was just waiting for you to come along. Yeah, so if you join Alpha... We can figure out what the hell this is all going to play like. These rocks just seem to be disappearing <laughs> when I hit them with the drill. Not actually giving me anything. Oh no, that one gave me something. So this is essentially how we, as the PvP faction, will actually acquire a lot of the basic resources. Is going through all these rocks and hitting them with our drill. Which is thoroughly exciting. Um, but we can whack together a harvester um, hover. I'll make that a lot quicker and easier. Yeah. yeah, the deposits on the planet are all gold deposits. Nothing else. Right, Are they the as numerous as, uh, as Titan was? I don't know. I haven't actually left the admin building yet. So, uh, okay. Raid Outpost Prime. But it looks like we're on a Kua style planet, which is nice because Shard sucks. <laughs> yes, agreed. I'm tired of living in darkness. It's partially why I moved to the moon in the last server. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's quite funny at the moment actually it's overcast and raining so it's not much brighter than a shard <laughs> <laughs> oh well i'm sure it will sunny up soon whenever me and you log in that's what it's going to switch to that weather yeah yeah and loading shard weather <laughs> god damn it <laughs> all right we've got some triceratopses around as well which is always fun um yeah, it's it's properly glitched into the ground. I can see through the ground and stuff, which is slightly irritating. But like I said, I think I think that'll be fixed in Alpha Eight. But yeah, we're quite lucky at the moment. Um, although magic is on, and he's already level twenty-five. The cheeky bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Magic's on the other PVP side, so we might have to deal with him. So that's that's really weird. I've just come down below deck, 
your la below the landing deck that you built, Stack. Mm -hmm. And all the clicking stopped. I go above uh, it, and all, all the clicking starts. Well, there's uh, there are sentry guns up there, but they don't have any ammo in them, so I didn't think they'd even try to fire. Yeah, I'm looking at all the turrets on the base, and they are all looking at me. This is quite unnerving. <laughs> they are all You're... pointing at me. <laughs> oh, God. You're on alpha, you said? Yes, alpha. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide before they suddenly find a bit of ammo. <laughs> I'm sure they won't. It'll just be my luck. I did go through it like three times to make sure there were no ammo boxes. <laughs> so they literally they cannot fire. Okay. That's weird. I didn't even think they'd turn because I know on uh, yeah, they the really train don't, sector they, they don't, they don't even move. They don't like me at all. Um, maybe revise the blueprints of the turrets are switched off or something? Could do that. Mm. Whoa, yeah, I see what you're saying about it being partially glitched into the ground. Yeah. Oh, you'll start in the ground as well, probably. Yep. Used to be another Jump fun glitch. Yeah, yep. magic's working on that. Welcome to war. <laughs> yeah, I think um, from the blog that the idea is we teleport to the same place. So if we're all starting at the same time, we could be teleporting directly into a firefight. Which could be disastrous. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I spawned with only one crushed would, stone. Yeah, if you go into one of the side rooms in that starter place, you've got your locker. Don't Let's miss see. that. There's nothing in this base. There's no garden or anything. Cool. So, um... Don't even have a motorbike starter kit. I don't have enough copper to do anything with it. So I, I just... We have to run out of this place. <laughs> is this the official start? Or uh, is the official start tomorrow? No, this is just a test. The official, the official start won't oh, come yeah, until Alpha 8. Start of the test. Yeah, it's today. So this is uh, version 1, we could say, of the Wolves Alpha 8 server <laughs> on version 7.6 of Imperium. Alright, I'm seeing some golems. Oh, yep, I spawned in the ground again. Yeah. No issue. I haven't found any gold deposits, uh, but I didn't add the I didn't put any of these cargo boxes in, so they must have edited this. Oh, fair enough. The ones on the ground. Yeah. Yay! I'm level two. Yeah, and they took out all the cargo boxes on this little platform that I had here. They've changed a bit. Robot dudes. It's, uh, the problem with building stuff for other people is if they don't give you an exact specification. Yeah. 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 Hey, go, go build me a building. Okay, here's a building. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying about all the artillery cannons pointing directly at you because yes. that's what's happening to me right now, and it's very unnerving. Very unnerving. Yes. <laughs> I can kind of see how... Our magic is level 25 already, though. These uh, there are golems for days. Many, many golems. Oh, I got some rare ores already. So this should be fine. I got some gold. Yay! I'm rich. <laughs> he uh, he didn't find my my signature. <laughs> oh, did he not? No. Nope. You you've hidden your signature somewhere on there. Yep. Brilliant. I'm not going to show that. <laughs> Let's keep that a secret. Right. Hey, Gollum, how you doing? Hey, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna die? Yeah, you just stand there while I shoot you in the head. That's great. It is so that you're not, you're not standing there. Oh, hello, there's another one behind me. Great. Oh crap. Reload, reload, reload. Stop killing me. No, where did you all come from? God damn it! These. Because they gave me ten uh, small medkits. 
I just got ambushed by like four golems. That's not good. Oh, uh, I think he, he did find my syndicate tag though. Uh that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. Now obviously in the Alpha 8 this planet is gonna be sixty-four times larger as well. So at the moment we gotta try and leave this place and find a good area to set up camp. Uh <laughs> this is on one of the normal sized planets. What a uh, like what? Um four kilometers squared or eight kilometers squared? I couldn't remember the I can't remember the exact number. I think it's eight squared. Eight squared, isn't it? Something like that. And then the new ones are sixty four squared, so Damn. You on your way out of the base? Yeah, I'm almost at you. Yeah, I see movement. Gun is woefully inaccurate. <laughs> the tier one AR, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, a lot of golems here. A lot of golems. A lot of XP and ores and stuff. Nicely packaged up in a walking walking bundle. <laughs> and they uh, drop a restroom. Seven over here. I'm gonna piss them all off. Oh boy. Oh yeah, they uh, they sneak up on you. Reloading. Got a few open ones here. <laughs> you got some small med packs. They have like ten. Yeah. Hey, I've got enough gold to make one ingot. <laughs> The freelancers are ready to trade. <laughs> <laughs> Make that two ingot. Owned. Wrecked. I almost have enough for one ingot as well. These, these sons of bitches move faster than you expect. I know, right? <laughs> Too easy. Yeah. Mind you, are we still in like the twenty-four hour grace period before all predators arrive, or are golems considered predators? I, don't know. I think golems are predators because they attack you as soon as they see you. Yeah, I guess we must be. Well, the predators, the uh, raptors, are there, but they're passive until night time. All right, we need to kind of, um, let me see if I can build a motorbike. Um, start a kit, maybe. Sounds good. Uh, motorbike, start a kit, requires a motor, nanotubes. Oh God, I've got to do all the ingoting and stuff, haven't I? It's been some time. Wait, I might help if I put all the stuff in the constructor, of course. I thought they, yeah, they did, yeah. I took away the thing. Too, so. Yeah, nice. Uh, you have to set it to faction access, but I thought it did. Yeah, allow faction access. It's there, no, I'm not in your faction. Oh, you don't have a faction yet. <laughs> oh, you're the leader. Come on. Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> right, hold on. Nine crush stone. Yeah, see, this is the problem. When it actually goes properly live live, um, we probably won't be able to do this. Because unless we just split off in opposite directions directly out of the admin POI, we're still going to be very close to our mortal enemies. <laughs> we probably have to just like yeah. run away on foot for quite a while before we pop the old survival constructor down and actually get some motorbikes. Um, are we PvP Alpha or PvP Omega? Or does it matter? Alpha. Alpha.
So yeah, what does the galaxy map look like now that we're on? Okay, so Prime, Alpha, and Omega. And then PvP, Asteroid. Oh, I guess so we started on the moon of this planet? Ah. Okay, different. Take your time there, Bunny. Don't worry about it. Settle down. Creating a, a new cool name. It's going to be super oh. hip. Super hip and edgy. No doubt. Because I didn't want to make a church of ecstatic as much as everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Recipher will. Uh... Instantly hang up his PvP coat and come and join us if you call it that. <laughs> Alright. We oh we are we're live. Sweet. Uh, why is oh, my role blue. member? Why isn't it founder? Yeah, it says owner on mine. Uh, apply the Alpha Buccaneers. I like it. Good. Figured it kept with the piratey theme. Yes. Without, uh, Buccaneers is good. I would have also accepted swashbucklers, or pillagers, or scum. ABS. <laughs> like Assisted that. braking system. <laughs> uh, right, I'll put two motorbikes on. Oh, I, I put a second one on just now. Oh yeah, we didn't need that one actually. Off. Oh. Uh, did you put a core on as well? Uh, I did not, but you can oh. if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it. We have a motorbike. The second one is making now. So, which direction should we go? Uh, oh yeah, I guess it's up to me to make those kinds of decisions, huh? Well, we always had somewhat of a democracy, so I intend to keep that, but for now... Where the hell are we? The admin building. Let's go. Hey, can you get on that motorbike? Um, yes. Amazing. Alright, I set a waypoint and I set it to faction, so... Okay... New marker. Yep. Show on map. Um... I want it to show on. Copy to private list. Cool, okay. Um, there it is. Got it. Got it! And we're on our way. On our little merry ways, on our little hogs. Hello. ho! It's funny, I couldn't, I couldn't get anyone to join my motorcycle club in GTA, but look at this. <laughs> Biker bros. Biker bros. We should, um, just for funsies, when we find the other base, the the enemy base, mm -hmm. the, the Omega base, we should um, just ride into it on motorbikes. I, think <laughs> I, I totally just clipped you then. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went down a mountain and got all kinds of spun around. Uh, Not a lot of trees on this planet so far. 
Not a massive amount of trees. I'm sure there are forest biome things. Oh no, wait, that's alpha eight, isn't it? Yeah. There's a hell of a lot of rocks though, which is good. That is good. Not a lot of rocks. Well, are they actually giving you stuff now? Because they weren't before. Right? Whoa. Okay, that's a problem. I just found all the gold deposits. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me just. Uh, magic. We just found all. <laughs> this is literally all of them in one place. We should park our base on top of them. That's what we should do. Yeah, that might uh, be. That'll, that'll work, won't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um it's getting really laggy <laughs> the closer yep. i get to these gold deposits frames are struggling let's uh see what we're doing we are 40 we're not too bad hello my um the game just muted for a second there that was weird yeah mine did as well are they directly under this mountain look at that see Fearless Leader leads you right to all the gold deposits. Yeah, he does. Look at how close that is to that my is new marker. Much bang on, right? Oh my god. <laughs> how the hell did they do this? It's unreal. How did how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> version version one, everyone, version one. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that um, the server's going to be wiped. <laughs> a bit. It was planned, though. Why is this planned? Well, why, how is that planned, that all the deposits are in one place? Also, by the uh, way, uh, did you say that this one has 1,675,500 gold in that deposit. And actually, both of the deposits that I can see. All of them, <laughs> actually. Why the hell would they do that on purpose? What's... I don't understand the logic. Um, am I missing something? That that seems really weird. Why why would you put all the deposits in one place? And this is like multiple. Um, are there multiple sets of these? Like large, large, large deposits. Why magic? Cipher. <laughs> Why is it done like this? Explain to me. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Eight spots to be exact. Oh. Oh right, okay, so there are eight gold deposit spots across. Like that I like that are like this. And I'm down to twenty for Spinning around, spinning around. Yeah, you stay at about still 40 don't know if that's a fantastic 20. idea, but eh, it could be. It makes sense to like Limit the deposits. Can't you just make like one deposit enormous though? Rather than so you just have eight deposits in total, but it's just one each rather than five hundred deposits on top of each other. But look, there's in each deposit there's over one point five million gold ores. Sure. So that's like I mean it'll take us a while to dig out all these ores. And I, I'm I'm assuming the idea is like That we have to control. try and control the spots. Mine by hand, you will need a mining HP. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Um yeah, so you you know, you basically, if you discover the locations of all the deposits, you kind of know generally where they're going to set up their base. I guess, yeah. Alright. Seems a bit unelegant, I guess. If we set up um, down here, then I mean, we 50 dots on top of each other does not look good, I will admit, but I, I kind of get... I kind of understand the intention. I don't... Oh my god. It makes sense to test it out. We've, you know, we know how it plays if they're all spread out. So, yeah, sure. I just was worried that 
<laughs> there was literally one fucking deposit. Like this was all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was all of it on there. That's what I thought originally as well. So if we come down the hill to about here, I think this will probably be the best, the shortest route to it from about here, maybe. But if if we're gonna if we're gonna start building a base, we should probably build it up the mountain a little more. Yeah. All right. Or I guess we could. No, well, I mean, we work, like we're pretty. Uh, it could make sense to kind of build right around here, because then like we're protected basically from the north, at least. Which. Well, yeah, they'd much have much to come north over, north. but they could peek over via hide behind because they could use it as cover from our turrets as well. That's Whereas true. if you've got a bit of an open field of view, then I don't know. It swings and roundabouts because. You're kind of protected from the north, from direct assault, but not from like cheeky peaky assaults. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're exposed from every other angle from any normal assault, so I don't know. I mean, with a mountain this steep, like that's that's the other problem. With a mountain this steep, like your turrets aren't going to be able to depress enough unless you put them upside down. Yeah. If they come in HVs. Yeah, you'd have to put upside down ones. Double sided. Right here seems like a de decent enough spot. There's a lot of more flat-ish land right here, right where this golem is charging me. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Get behind this. Do we have any wood? Or no, there's, no, no there's, trees. there's no trees. There's like two trees in the entire server. Um, I've got fresh oh, stone there. We've got overseers on the hill as well. That oh, shit. Here we night go. creatures have arrived. Right into doom now. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We, I think we've got our a spot for our building that we're going to start at, right next to this enormous gold mine. Um, so there are about eight eight deposits like this across the world. Yeah. I assume in Alpha Ray we're going to see a similar time of setup. Um, so it looks like they, they're doing it that way to limit, sort of, well, to prevent early gold access, I guess, so that we have to actually build like uh, full on HVs in order to get to the gold and also limit the amount of, yeah, sorry, Contra, just a sec, also just to limit the amount of, um, of points across the map that we can. Um, Actually, I mean, it, mine. it makes sense when uh -huh. you think about the fact how big the planet's going to be. Yeah, I guess. You kind of want to limit the planet, like, make it, Cause... you kind of almost force people to make bases close to certain points so that you know mm. where to find people. Yeah, it, it, mm. they're like waypoints in order, waypoints to PvP combat really, aren't they? In, in a way, yeah. But you'll want to build bases over each one that you find. That hasn't already got someone else's base over it, I guess. And likewise, you'll want to take out people's bases that have built over them in order to capture them. So it, it does make sense. Well, well, this is the purpose of the test uh, that we're doing to see if this actually works. So it'll be interesting to see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And hopefully, I'll catch you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye. See you guys.